This is a Shardimus Prime video, what do you think I was going to do? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys statue review on the Uncanny X-Men Marvel's Premier Collection Psylocke Resin statue. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for sending this statue my way to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Diamond Select Toys, be sure to check the link in the description below to their YouTube channel. And we get a nice image of the statue right here looking fantastic. And it's limited to only 3,000 pieces. And then on the side right there, we get some more Psylocke. The base looks really impressive as well. Then we get another product shot. It says it's 12 inches tall. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then on this side, we get that other product shot. And then it says Psylocke right over here on the top. And then not much more going on on the bottom except for this being number 159 out of 3,000. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Premier Collection Psylocke statue out of the packaging. And this is really one of those reviews where I feel like my words are just not going to do enough to express how incredibly awesome I think this thing is. Of course, I love the statue uh, with just the Psylocke all on its own, but we're getting an awesome rooftop over here with some incredible looking flame effects that I really dig a lot. And that pose, ah, I love that pose. Beautiful looking piece. I want to get a closer look. Actually, first I want to show that Diamond does include this little card of authenticity over here, as they always do with their statues. Uh, but you can see this is number 159 out of 3,000. I wanted to start looking at the base of this statue first. I just love these Japanese clay roof tiles over here. We get all these little cracks. Nice color variation on the side of the building. We get some beautiful color variation as well. You can see that little brown wash right in there. And this thing is hefty, by the way. It does weigh quite a bit. And you can see some more wood coming through that stucco right there. Nice wood grain. I love the pattern right over here. This looks great. That paint detailing. Oh, I'm very impressed by that. And looking on this side, you can see some more wood grain and some more nice brown and black paint mixed together. You have this light. To Is this mold? It might be mold right over there. It might be mold right over here. A little bit of gray. And then we get these translucent flame effects from these torch arrows, which look great. Ah, I'm so happy that's included in this statue. I just think it just adds just a lot to it. I really dig it a lot. Get some nice, beautiful patterns right over here at the end of these. That looks fantastic as well. Very happy with that. If you look at the very bottom of it, you can see that it is numbered as well. You get a copyright and everything right there. And then looking at some of these flames again, you can see on this side it looks really good. You can hear Emma screaming in the other room. And then you can see this little flame right over there. Another little flamey Yuma Hotman right there. But speaking of flamey Yuma Hotman, look at those patas. And this is a great pose. I really like this Psylocke statue a lot. I love how we get this light blue over the darker blue. It looks great. I love the flesh tone. Again, I mean, the musculature is very subtle, but it looks fantastic as well. I, I'm just very pleased with this. I do want to show an image that I found online that reminds me of this statue. So I think that's the inspiration for it. I just wanted to throw that out there because I'd seen this pose before. And looking at the straps right over there, with the beautiful looking Psylocke Nalgas. I guess I wish the hips were a little wider. I don't know. But looking at the hand right there, looks good. We get some nice light blue over the darker blue. There's a Psylocke butt. We get these ribbons right over here from her waistband. That looks really cool too. Getting that sense of motion. Like that thigh muscle right there. Looking really nice. Really dig this a lot, man. Those arrows look great. And then she has her psionic effect right here, or her side blade anyway, which is very bright purple. You can darken it. I never even tried removing this. I assume that you can't. Yeah, you can't. But I think that looks great. I'm very pleased with that as well. Excellent detail. Great sculpting on that. Very pleased. Looks good. You get a little X right there on the right side of that waistband. And then looking at the top half of this statue, looks gorgeous. I mean, these highlights just work out so well. They complement the sculpt beautifully. And I really like the hair on her, too. And that face sculpt is gorgeous. I really dig that a lot. And I like how you can see her hair wafting off to the side. It's kind of funny. It's The easiest way to pick this thing up is via butt cheek. you, you got to pick her up by the booty. But looking on that side right there, 
Nice beautiful hair. I love the black mixed in there with the purple. It looks great. We get this cool thing where the hair is kind of coming over her left eye a little bit, but I feel like her left eye could have been painted a little bit more centered. I don't know. It doesn't look awful, but it, I tend to find myself like wanting to take pictures with that eye covered up, but it doesn't look that bad. You know, I'm being a little bit picky. A little bit, maybe too much extra eyeliner over there, but the lipstick and everything came out great. Again, I love the flesh tone. Such a beautiful looking piece, man. Yeah, I really dig it. Not measuring out the height of this Psylocke step. Oh my! God. Oh fuck! Okay, this and this is what happens with sleep deprivation. So measuring out this statue, you could see that she's standing at 12 inches tall. And yeah, I just did break it. Uh, sleep deprivation. I just dropped my ruler. I chipped this piece of tile right here and this arrow and this flame piece. Then comparing the Psylocke statue next to some 1-6 scale Marvel gallery statues, we have Medusa and we have Gwenpool. And you can see that they all fit into scale together. I honestly feel like crying right now. I'm so upset. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Uh. Then for your Psylocke statue comparison, we have the Diamond Select Toys Premier Collection Psylocke next to a couple of Kotobukiya Psylocke statues. And then here's the Psylocke statue next to the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Psylocke statue. Cannot wait for the Hasbro version to come out, even though we're not getting that Moonstone body mold. And then here's Psylocke next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So even though I broke this statue, I really love it a lot. I'm gonna try to touch it up. There's a little nick right over here on the top of her hair. Of course, this flame effect with the arrow head or the end of the arrow right there broke off. Uh, I'm really bummed out about that because I really love this piece. It's I was just really impressed by it. I'm still very impressed by it. I absolutely love it. And I'm keeping that whole thing with me breaking it in the video because the thing is, man, is I just don't have enough time to do anything else today as far as a post goes. I'm just being stretched thin and just not getting the kind of rest I should be getting, I guess. Uh, that's how stupid stuff like me dropping a heavy tape measure on this amazing piece happens so I'm closing out this video very bummed out man uh, I'm gonna try to get somebody to help me restore this you know somebody local maybe because it's a pretty heavy statue and I don't want to ship it out anywhere but uh, we'll see what I could do with it but I highly recommend it I love it it's a gorgeous piece if I didn't love it I wouldn't be so upset about it you know and I got to thank DST again for sending this my way I don't want you guys thinking that I'm not grateful for it because I very much am it was just an accident that happened during this review so Hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of the statue. If you want to see more Shardimus Prime videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And you can find a photo gallery of images over at MarvelousNews.com and ShardimusPrime.net. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Shardimus Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.